Guys, it's Andy here. Just a quick video update and testing of my new shent. New shent. So let's first do a check. 25.9 volts. It's been sitting at that for what well, feels like a few days. So 3.7. 3.6, 3 3.7, 3.7, 3 almost 3.7, 3.74, 3 3.75. Yeah, so they're all plus or minus, was it 50 millivolts? No, doesn't matter. And the total voltage is 25.9. And here's the shunt. Look at that, very, very pretty. I put it in, I've uh, slightly up oop grotted. I've now got a proper connector. Uh, let's see if I can find what it looks like. So I soldered uh, my two wires, two thick wires, inside of this together quite heavily. It's, it's very thick and it perfectly fits on top of here. So it's like they were made for each other. Probably were. So anyways, here's the shunt put together. Very fancy, other than this guy's a little ugly. So yeah, that's what I did, and then liquid taped the whole thing. And it's connected up here. This guy's still running. So I had to cut off one of my leads. I'm going to cut off all of these guys, all these wires except for the tops. But... I might leave the leads for a 3S and 4S, just just for the fun of it. There's some testing I want to do, uh, which would be really fun, uh, but I'll only leave it on one side. So anyways, here it is, all hooked up, pretty simple, no big deal. It's uh, showing no current, and I'm going to compare it to my voltmeter that I just got in the mail. That's in my last video I made. So let's uh, let's turn turn her on. Let's turn her on and see what we get. All right. And whoa, that's a lot more than. Yeah. See, that makes way more sense. See, this is saying six, and this is saying thirty-two. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah, see, I knew, I knew there was something wrong. Okay, five watt hours, over 900 watts. Pulling it right down to 23. Wow. Wow. <laughs> 41 amps. Jeez, I knew, I knew there was, this wasn't reading right. Okay, so... That's because this is reading AC current, not DC. That's why you need a shunt. <laughs> That's why, look at this, 42 amps. No wonder it's getting warm. Well, it takes a while to get warm, but. Oh yeah, pretty, pretty fancy. All right, so that is a huge eye opener. Look at that, it says it's a thousand watts, which makes sense, right? Because that's a thousand watts DC and then it has to be converted to AC, so then you lose like up to 20%. And right now with it down at 23 volts, like you're probably only at 80, 83% efficiency. So this guy here is losing somewhere around 20% of that wattage, which equals out to, you know, nine, eight, 875, right? 875 watts AC requires a thousand twenty watts of uh, DC that's awesome I should have bought this guy a long time ago but say lovey no, be, no big deal man no big deal so that's uh that's awesome and still waiting on all the other stuff but I'm just happy that this guy is plugged in works great looks great Look at that though, 22.9. This thing's uh, doing great. 
and you see I'm slowly filling in. I, I process at least eight batteries a day passively. Right, I only have one one charge charger. Well, tester. You know, battery tester. So I can only do so much. So alright, this this is uh yeah, AC. That only reads AC. There you go. Now you know. Now now we both know that these are okay, but actually whoa, whoa. let's um Yeah, 0.5 amps. You can hear it really buzzing. Can you hear that buzz? That's from the, uh, it's about to hit the low voltage limit. It really starts to buzz, which is normal because it's struggling to up convert 20 volts, right? Like, look at that, 45 amps is going through the shunt. The shunt. Hmm. I wonder how many of these are not fully, fully contacting. That'd be interesting. This is great though. Great. You see, I knew that eight amps was way too low for how much heat and how much wattage we were outputting at the, you know, at the AC side. So. Let's see. Yeah, it does. It does good. So that's good. Next, I'll uh, next I'll charge it up and see how long it takes to charge it to full from being dead, which is gonna be neat. And really hear the buzzing from down here. I don't know if the camera can pick that up or microphone can pick that up, but I can hear it pretty pretty strong. When it's at full voltage it doesn't sound that bad. But yeah, that's cool though. Now I can actually uh, find out how many watt hours. Yeah, alright, that's that's great. I just picked that up off Amazon. It's pretty easy. Oh, and there we go. Oh, and then it jumps back up to 24.7 and Turn that off. Yeah. All right. So let's see. So it kicked off. Look at that. it's already back up to 25. Pulls itself back up uh, beautifully, beautifully. And how am I going to do this? So on the exit side. I don't know, I made a video, but I don't remember if I posted it, which is annoying, but not a big deal. Alright, trying to get contact. Okay, so this is on the, on the exit, yes, yeah, 7.8 is on the exit side of the BMS, and on the entry side, 25. So you see that the BMS decided to turn off, right? Not, not this guy. This guy didn't decide to turn off. The BMS did. The BMS, as soon as it hits a certain uh, voltage, it just completely kicks the voltage down to nothing. Uh, I'm not sure how it does that. It's, it's some kind of uh, MOSFET type design because it slowly raises higher and higher, so. I don't know, it's um, I don't know exactly what it is, but anyways, 25.3 is its resting voltage, it was uh, 25.6 or 9, so we only lost point, point 0.6 volts doing this, it's pretty cool though. Anyways, I uh, hope you liked it, and let me know what you think, and yeah, it's good. Hope you liked the video. Hope uh, it was eye-opening for you. So now you know, 49 amps is coming off this system. Yeah, thanks guys, bye.